So folks, welcome back to another Mailbox Monday, and I guess we need to open this uh, big package first. Yeah, man, that's going to be exciting. This is, here, you want a box cutter? Sure. It's, it's taped all over if you want to. Uh, How would you do the on you want me to, Woo! I'll carve this turkey. Ooh. Okay, so what we have here, I can see there's already a clue on the box that says Fender on the box. So. Let's see, sweetwater.com. Thank you. Hey, are you okay, Aria? We've got my niece here today. She's only three months old. My sister's visiting from Florida. And uh, well, there's some kind of magazine in here. Mm -hmm. And then, read me first. No, I'm not going to read you first, sorry. Huh. Oh, wow. Fender Bass Breaker 15, apparently. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> look at this. Down in the bottom. Sweetwater candy. Sweetwater.com. Wow. Apparently they send you Laffy Taffy, Tootsie Rolls, and Smarties. <laughs> Laffy Taffy. I don't know why they put, Why do you think they put that in there with the package, man? Sweetwater? Maybe yes. that's because of their name, Sweetwater, yeah. So. Here we got the Fender Bass Breaker 15. This is an amp that just came out that Fender decided to use English tubes and Celestian speakers, so it's almost like a Marshall amp. And, uh, I guess we'll get to find out if it sounds like one, because uh, the Marshall Blues Breaker was a really famous amp that wasn't made for very long. So this is called Bass Breaker. Of course, Marshall's, the original Marshall amps were based on the Fender Bassman amps. Okay, and... Yeah, I really put my hand in my mouth. She's still learning how to coordinate. <laughs> so that's uh, cool. I, I think kids are adorable, honestly. It's charging up, it's charging up. And here we go, folks. And are you ready? It's hard for me to make it out, really, but uh, it's from New York, and I uh, can't really read the name that well, but uh, why don't you do the honors? Rip into it, man. If you need a box cutter, I got the box cutter from opening the Fender box. Hey, hey, do you want to get out of there and play that guitar? Hey, there's your passy. There's your passy. Okay, just make sure there's nothing else in there, and there's a book. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Check it out. It's a brand new book. It's, uh, it's so let's see what the, uh, what does the uh, letter say? Yeah. Dear Tommy, first of all, thanks for making great videos. I have a question, though. What happened to the good deed videos? I initially started watching after hearing about the time you saved the eggs on top of that girl's car. I then went on to see you being harassed for cleaning up the streets in Black Mountain. But where have all the good deeds gone, man? Um, Enclosed, you will find a book. Uh, maybe spend some time with the book. And uh, sincerely concerned. It says sincerely. They just signed it as concerned. Apparently a concerned viewer. But uh, you've still been doing the good deeds regularly, haven't you? Um, one thing about doing good deeds is like I've been looking for good deeds, but it's hard to find to do good deeds sometimes. Cleaning up litter, I, I've done them in the past. Um, it's just uh, finding a golden nugget like that is hard sometimes. But uh, I'm going to keep doing good deed videos. And uh, when I can, pull the camera out and shoot a video. It's by Max Lucado. Luchado. It's a New York Times best-selling author. And it's called He Chose the Nails. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe me or your mom or somebody can help you. Uh, get through this book at some point, you know. It looks like a pretty decent. Now, one book, thing you should uh, know about me is I can't read or write, so it's 
Uh, but, but you know, very nice thought that counts. And uh, maybe we could even get an ebook to go along with it. Yes, so maybe could, I'll do like an ebook like or something. Audio book. I'll find an audio book on this book, and uh, definitely keep this for keepsakes because I can't really read it. Um, I can, I, you know, maybe me or like I said, maybe your mom or somebody can help you get through a chapter or something. But it's apparently by a New York Times best-selling author. Brand new book, wonderful fan letter, and uh, you know, I think that's great. You know, a fan wants to see more good deed videos. Man, that's positive all the way. Yes. So as always, folks, this has been Mailbox Monday. Let me see if I can just take it before I do the outro. I want to find this countdown for you folks and show you what I'm talking about. Like, it's just mind blowing. Like, my mind is just blown. It's. I'm trying to find it. Um, How did you get to it in the first place? Um, my friend James Worley sent it to me. He shout sent, out to James Worley. Shout out, homeless lives matter. YouTube.com slash. Homeless Lives Matters. The man is trying to change the homeless lifestyle. Okay, here we go. This is the live countdown. That's uh, that's your subscriber count? Yeah, this is my subscriber count right now. Wow, man. I'm impressed, man. It shows that the perseverance and the hard work really pays off. Because you've been steady every day. Oops. But that's my subscriber account right now. 50 like that, and growing. <coughs> So, yes, we'll end this off. Thank you so much for joining us for another awesome Mailbox Monday. Here we go. Fact.